When you hear the words you're fired, the first person that probably comes to mind is Donald Trump. But this apprentice candidate actually said, I quit to the Trump. That's not Omarosa. She's not a TV diva. And she's not on bad terms with Donald Trump. This season three apprentice candidate says, I quit the show because it really didn't help me represent what I was trying to, to get to in life. Um, I think the, the primary thing that anybody needs to think about is, why are you participating in anything that you're doing? She's speaking to the Undergraduate Women in Business Club, and she's advising students. Really try to you know, articulate, what am I doing here? And is it meeting the goals of how I think about success? And if it's not meeting that, then my advice is, is to get out. You know, that's exactly what I did, and I don't regret it at all. But what did Donald Trump have to say? But I actually had a really good conversation and a really good relationship with Donald Trump. In the boardroom, um, the couple boardrooms that I went to, he called on me several times. He's like, well, Verna, well, what do you think about this? Well, Verna, you know, if you were in that situation, what would you do? And so that was the dialogue that, that um, the Don and I, <laughs> that Donald and I had. And um, I think that we had a really good relationship after I quit when I went into his office, you know, we had a quick conversation, you know, the cameras and everything were rolling, obviously. We had a quick conversation, and one of the things that he said to me as I was getting up leaving, you know, he stood up, he shook my hand, and he said, you know, you're gonna continue to be a very successful person. Which is exactly what she wants you UWIB members to know. I joined UWIB because I'm in the business school, um, I'm accounting in SISB, and I wanted to be able to get more involved in, like, the business world and see how women thrive in the business world and what we need to do to be successful. But you don't have to be a woman to be a member. Whenever there's opportunity, I don't mind the setting, no matter where it is, just go for it. UWIB offers many seminars for its members with speakers like Verna Felton. Someone come and join because they'll get a competitive edge by far above everybody else. We have events where we, obviously they're catered to all the people that, that join, all the members, so they're all, we bring speakers like her, we bring quality speakers, you're not going to get that anywhere else. Or insights to the Donald Rosie battle. What Donald is doing with the whole, whole Rosie, you know, war that's going on, I think that is typical Donald Trump. And I think that you have to appreciate him for who he is. He's a big marketing campaign. Either you appreciate that or you don't. Everything that comes out of his mouth is, is going to be a marketing spin. You know, that's just who he is. And I think that anything that gets attention, you know, some marketers say, you know, any, you know, any news is good news. And I think that anything that's going to keep his name in the, you know, in the, you know, headlines and that's going to keep his picture, you know, on TV, I think he's willing to go there. Whether you're a Donald or a Rosie fan, the Undergraduate Women in Business Club has some great opportunities for you to get connected with your future career. Anyone in our membership base can get their dream job. Guaranteed. I'm Chanel Smith for the Daily Videocast.